All right, guys, I'm getting ready to go live. Well, a quick Saturday show. OMG, stop. All right, guys, I just want to do a quick video about, you know, people that say the page of freaks dogs out and the people that are against it. And if you said why, there's absolutely no reason. I mean, that's the reality. The only reason that these people are against it is because they would have to say, well, I guess we've been doing it wrong all this time because the caller always had the pager and we never used it. So the only, hello, Victoria, the only possible, you know, it's not like these people are invested in a brand of caller that only has the constant and they are pushing that brand. Okay, and let's do some vetting here on these trainers that have publicly stated the pager freaks them out. Sean O'Shea, he's awful. Jeff Gilman, he's horrible. Uh, Larry Crone, he's worse than all of them. None of them can even do a trained retrieve. That's where the line, the guy can't even do a trained retrieve come from. Adam Spivey, he's, he's horrible. They're absolutely horrible. They're, they're 20 years behind the times. I don't know what field that being 20 years behind the times is considered admirable. Is considered something we should be patted on the back for, you know. And I mean, I could see if, you know, oh, that's shoe bottom. Uh, look at her. She's getting something. No, she's getting that remote. I need to put a disclaimer if you leave your dog here, please expect the remote to be chewed. Not by shoe bottom, but now I gotta beg her to bring it over here. Here she comes. Um. You know, that's why they're not, you know, that I know of. These people don't have any, uh, you know, financial investment in these collars other than they're selling them and they're cheap. You know, but the reality is the dog truck is just as cheap and built, you know. I told Greg, you know, with that collar of his job one, build this thing like a panzer. You know, Mark got one, Mark the doctor, and he didn't like it. It was the thing was falling off. You know, I realize now that Greg just completely went to Belgium and copied Michael's collar. After I see that, that I didn't know that until I got the chameleon, but, you know, now I see he completely copied it. You know, and the reality of it is, you know, pet dogs, the training, you know, if you said what methodology is best, you know, from the technical perspective for a uh, pet dog, novice, and first-time users, uh, simplistic, not highly technical simplistic you know and that people do not understand what a three action introduction is i want all of you guys that follow this larry crone and all these people to go on there and ask them what's the three action introduction because that was the basis of the low level stimulus method if they say we don't know then you really need to run you know we need to look at these people's pedigree who are they you know have they won national championships i, I don't even think these people have serious pros as friends you know, the reason they're against the pager is because they're going to have to admit the pager was always there and we never used it. Nobody wants to do that. I don't blame them, you know. But the reality of it is now, if you're sticking with that method, oh, I saw that Tyler Mudo video the other day hitting that deaf dog with constant, boy, that, boy, that burns me up. It burns me up. There's a preset protocol for deaf dogs to use a vibrating collar. Not, you know, and I have come to believe because vibration and sound are very simple, that the audibility of the pager is part of what's making it good. And if you said constant stimulation has audibility, I'd say none whatsoever. None. None. Because I do not believe contraction causes anything audible other than a scream from who's ever getting the contraction. You know, that's the reality. So, let me get my glasses on. I did have my glasses today. Anyway, guys, that's what I want you to think of. You know, the people that are against the pager, if you are willing, you know, if, if it was history told us not to listen to people, to go, if history tells us go against your instinct, pick the more painful option with loaded caveats, then go with that. And that's why I get rid of people if I think they're somehow affiliated with these other people because if they can't understand, 
They need to stay with those people and those people can help them. They don't need my help. They don't need my help, you know? So that's what I want you to think of. The other thing is this IQ is fatally flawed, Kara. I don't know if you're watching, but this is the girl that dropped off. We're going to have to get a different collar. This isn't going to work. Uh, and Kara's going to be like, what? I went running this morning, and since Freaky's collar was dead, since this is the smallest thing and I knew it was already charged, I just grabbed this and threw it on him. Well, I get out by the road, and I see a car coming. So I'm trying to hit the pager. It's dark. This dial is hard to figure out, too. Uh, it ought to click one direction. If it clicked one direction, you could learn in your head which way you were turning it. If it counterclockwise clicked and it smoothed the other way. Well, apparently I didn't know this. In my attempt to hit the pager, I, only based on what the dog did, accidentally hit the constant. And I'm going to show you exactly why. I've never seen anything so fatally flawed in my life. It's got three buttons. They've made the pager the smallest on the bottom, but they've also made it lower. So the highest button, the button that sits highest in the middle is the constant button. I accidentally hit it. I'm by any measure an expert with these collars. Oh, Cher, I'm glad you're there. Do not ever get this, uh, do not ever get this IQ. Unless it's, you're just using it as a straight pager. The design is so fatally flawed. There's never been a collar that I know of that they put the constant in the middle. If anything, the pager should be on top. You could secure your finger there. Not try to slide your finger down to the lowest, most, you know, because this button is much more raised. The constant button is much more raised. Your finger is naturally going to go to the most raised Oh, I hate them. I remember now. It's bringing back my hatred. And I used to fight with them every day. I used to have meetings every day. Then they would call me back. And then if I get really mad, uh, then Alex would call me. That only happened like three times. But the last time I wouldn't take Alex's call. Anyway, it's, it's just horrible. So this person was given this collar and told to use it on their dog. And I asked her, did you ever accidentally hit that button? And she said no. And I guarantee you did, Kara. Only because it's impossible not to. It is built in, fatally flawed. I've never seen a more poorly designed, and I told them, I begged them, I begged them and begged them forever to come out with a small dog collar, and I begged them and begged them, don't put constant on it, and they not only did, they put it in the middle, and if you said, well, so what if you hit constant, what, what then? You better be super experienced, running serious, fast damage control, and no, you may have already ruined your dog. I mean, you know, other than that, there's nothing wrong with it, you know. So never buy this collar. I'm going on the record to say this thing is absolutely awful. I forgot because the ones I have, I had sent them back to dog train and had the constant disconnected. So I'm sure I do accidentally hit that button, but nothing happens because it's disconnected. But yeah, luckily Freaky's collar condition and all it did, and I just bumped it real quick, but it like jettisoned him real fast. It made him go into like hyper move. And then it ended up being this like cop driving by this one that's always on that road at like four in the morning. This guy always sees me. Um, but I was just like, then I couldn't figure out how to turn it to make sure I was on zero. And I just, you know, make sure I have to make sure next time only hit the page. It was awful. It was awful. It's a terrible, terrible color. So that's what I want you guys to think of. Anybody that says don't use the pager, the only possible investment that they have is to have to say, the pager was always there and we never used it and we've wasted X amount of years developing zero methodologies how to use it, you know? And if you said they've got some really seriously well-developed methodologies um, using constant that these people have developed, I'd, I'd laugh and laugh. Oh, please. They're doing a broken, fragmented version of the low-level stimulus method. The only thing they've done is change the word stimulus to stem. And that's why I never use that word. I never, you don't, you won't hear me using that word. Mark doesn't use it either. That word didn't come around until, you know, that was the only advancement that they made. Instead of developing any methodology or changing anything, they just left the lus off the end. And so, yeah, it's just, they called it the stem. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go out there with Crash. I washed all the dumbbells in the um, dishwasher. And I know, Ryan, I know you said you're your own dishwasher. Uh, but I think that's the, the way to go if you've got them. Um, 
so that they're not, you know, so that they're staying uniform. I just washed them in the dishwasher with the hot water wash and the hot dry um, and no soap, you know, so I just washed them with hot water. And it, it seems it heated up pretty hot. It seemed like it really was cooking them in there. <laughs> anyway, I'm taking a crash out right now. So it's the morning crash out. I'll be right back.